Hey guys, Harrison One Arm, I got it once again with a brand new video for you, and this is a world exclusive. Some of the first grid autosport gameplay in the world released live on YouTube here on the Harrison 101 channel. For those guys that don't know, I was invited up to Codemasters over in Warwickshire this past week to check out an early build of grid autosport. This is not the final version you will be buying or, m or might be buying in June, but this is a, as you can see in the top, it's a pre-alpha build. Um, I got three pieces of major gameplay for the game that, that was revealed or you know, I was allowed to play. We had touring cars in, um, you know, touring cars um, at Hockenheim in another video. We have um, street racing back in San Francisco making its return from the first grid game. And this, we have drama and some Formula 3 action here. Um, Run a drama, like I said, with some Formula 3 cars. It, you know what? The game looks and feels great. Graphically, it's about as strong as it could be, for, um, given this is not going to be a next gen game. It's going to be exclusively from 360 PC and PS3. Um, sorry about that, folks. Um, I'll tell, I might go into more about it, like it's not on next gen in a little bit. But um, I could tell you right now, the game definitely has more of a simulation style feel to it. I don't think I got it in this capture, but um, the cars all have tuning settings as, as you play more and more. Uh, more tuning settings become available to you, uh, as you can see. Um, so as I said, the game definitely has a, a more simulation style kind of feel to it, with a little bit of arcade nature thrown in there as well. It's a little bit closer towards the simulation scale than it has been in previous grid games in the past. The handling model is definitely refined and improved from Grid 2. Grid 2, I think the cars had a much more of a drifty nature and it was hard to have full confidence in the car you were driving. I think Grid Autosport has done a solid job in rectifying that. Um, the cars feel responsive, they, they, they handle well, I enjoy the feel. Um, when you make a mistake, it feels like you made the mistake because, you know, for example, for example, this is not the first run I had using open wheel cars. This was like the third or fourth go I had at it. I was restarting a lot going through this and, you know, these Formula 3 cars have a lot of torque, very easy to spin the wheels up, no traction control. Um, so it took me three or four goes to get used to the, the feel of the car and you know know where the limit is on the accelerator, where the biting point is, and just handle smoothly. But it's a very rewarding experience. Like the more you put into it, the more you will get out of it more than likely. So I definitely enjoyed it from that aspect. The AI it seems to be make seems to make a lot more mistakes in, um, now. Um, again, it's a lot more humanized. I like that. Um, if you put them under pressure, um, they are more likely to they are, they are more likely to make a mistake, which is good. Like real racing, um, you have a teammate. Teammates can yield. There are team orders in this game, which is going to be interesting for sure. Um, and yeah, um, I can't, you know, obviously go into too much detail here because obviously this is still far from the complete version. But I have been told certain things, and you know, it's it's it should be decent. So. The best advice I can give you is if you have got a question about the game or the gameplay you're seeing in front of you on on this or any of the free videos I put out, um, I would definitely, definitely drop a comment and I will do my best to answer it from what I have gone through and what I've experienced and played. Um, there are five difficulty settings, there are, um, uh, there are driver aids, you can turn them on and off, and cockpit cam, as you can probably have already tell, is back, which is excellent as well. The fans asked for it and the cockpit cam is back. In fact, I think some cars like the open wheelers have three, um, have, 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 two, have two or three um, cockpit star settings, like the, like the T cam you see in Formula One. Or, and, and a straight up cockpit cam as well. So there's definitely more features um, for people to get involved in as well. Um, I'm going to leave you now to enjoy the rest of this gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed um, enjoyed the gameplay. Again, it's world exclusive. I um, hope you guys enjoy it. If you've got any questions, let me know. And if you, you liked what you saw, why not leave a comment and subscribe? Um, thanks again to Codemasters for allowing me to record the footage. It, it's very, very kind of them. Greatly appreciated as always. And I will catch you guys later. Until then, sign out.